The Earth is an island swirling in an ocean of space, and living creatures in their DNA have been falling from the sky and washing the shore since the Earth's creation. The first creatures to appear on Earth came from other planets. For 800 million years after our planet's creation, the Earth was continually bombarded by gigantic meteors, asteroids, and mountains of frozen ice, with the first evidence of earthly life, highly complex living creatures, appearing immediately thereafter. As only life can produce life, then the first creatures to appear on Earth came from other planets. As the oceans continued to rise, and by 3.9 billion years ago, living creatures had begun to proliferate upon the surface of the planet, which had cooled and solidified sufficiently to retain evidence of their passage. These creatures were structurally complex and appeared on Earth immediately following a 700 million year bombardment from space. These visitors from the stars were found in rock formations located in West Greenland and the nearby Achillea Island and are believed to be almost 3.9 billion years in age. According to the scientists who made these discoveries, these were not the first life forms to appear on Earth. What type of creature could withstand a journey through space and take up residence inside rocks? An incredible number, including archaea, cyanobacteria, and blue-green algae which happily thrives deep within rock and stone, even under sub-zero temperatures. Blue-green algae are believed to be among the first to take up residence on Earth, and in 1961, algae were discovered in a meteor from space. Bacteria rapidly proliferate, and within a few weeks, if unhindered, they could easily cover the entire planet with a thin sheet of bacterial cells. However, many species of bacteria prefer to live in colonies. By 3.5 billion years ago, the first colonies from space formed stromatolites. Stromatolites are comprised of silicified microorganisms, including photosynthesizing cyanobacteria, such as blue-green algae. Algae form stromatolites in shallow water by trapping, binding, and cementing together grains of sediment. Algae were not alone. By 3.5 billion years ago, a vast array of prokaryote microbes, extremophiles, cyanobacteria, and archaea had begun to overrun the new earth, leaving their fossilized remains immortalized in ancient rocks. These 3.5 billion year old fossils look identical to modern day bacteria and remarkably similar to microfossils discovered in an ancient meteorite over 4 billion years old, about the same age as the first microfossils found on Earth. Thus, the first evidence of fully formed, complex, single cellular life was present from the very beginning as the Earth was still being formed and while debris pounded the planet. As debris continued to rain down upon the toxic volcanic earth and its rising seas, all manner of complex single-celled and then multicellular creatures proliferated and multiplied, covering the earth with life and their DNA. Thus, by 3.5 billion years ago, the planet was crawling with life. Even though the earth was still largely toxic, convulsed with volcanic activity, and all the necessary elements for creating a nutrient-rich organic soup were completely absent. This means our ancient ancestors journeyed here from the stars. Considerable evidence now exists taken from asteroids, comets, meteors from Mars, and lunar soil samples which conclusively demonstrates that complex living creatures have lived on other planets, including our own moon. Indeed, the universe is likely swarming with life and their DNA. The first evidence for alien life was reported in 1961 and again in 1967 when scientists discovered microfossils in two carbonaceous chondrites, the Ivuna and Orgeal meteorites. These microfossils were indigenous to the meteorites and not due to contamination. Using an electron microscope, the discoveries included acid-resistant fossils very similar to purple photosynthesizing bacteria belonging to the species R. rutilis. 
Further confirmation was provided in 2004 when Richard Hoover of NASA, using NASA's Field Emission Scanning Electron Microscope, discovered fossilized colonies resembling cyanobacteria. These fossils were found in a freshly fractured interior slice of the Orgale meteorite, making it almost impossible that these fossils are due to contamination. The Ivuna and Orgale meteorites are carbonaceous chondrites, meaning they come from the heart of comets which are surrounded by frozen water and ice. They likely originated in the Oort Belt, the remnants of the ancient star system that gave birth to our own. Carbonaceous chondrites typically contain a high abundance of water-bearing minerals and organics. These meteors are believed to have been a source of water in the inner solar system, delivering oceans of water to the Earth. And where there is water, there is life. In 1969, organic compounds, amino acids, and fossilized microcells were discovered in yet another carbonaceous chondrite, the Murchison meteorite, that landed in Victoria, Australia. These findings were confirmed in 1984 when German geologist and paleontologist Hans Dietrich Flug discovered fossilized cells and virus particles and again in 1997 when Richard Hoover of NASA discovered fossilized bacteria deep within the Murchison meteorite which resembled colonies of living cyanobacteria. In addition, a preponderance of left-handed amino acids were found in the Murchison meteorite. These asymmetries are typically produced by living creatures. Additional study found organic residue in vesicles that had formed organic compounds. These included fatty acids similar to the albumin found in egg yolk. Like the Avuna and Orgale, the Murchison meteorite is a carbonaceous chondrite and thus part of a watery comet. In fact, microfossils have been discovered in other chondrites as well. In 1997, Robert Folk of the University of Texas discovered grape-like clusters of nanobacterial cells in the Allende meteorite that closely resembled fossils of well-known terrestrial nanobacteria. Additional evidence for microbial life in the Allende and Murchison meteorites, and yet another meteor, the Efmakova, was reported in 1999 by Russian scientists. All three meteors contain the remains of microbial communities similar to cyanobacteria and which probably lived in a watery environment. The Ivuna, Orgale, Murchison, Allende, and F. Makova meteorites are all carbonaceous chondrites and thus part of watery comets. These scientists concluded, quote, The results of our investigations indicate that microbial life on various objects of the solar system was present virtually from the time of its formation over 4.5 billion years ago. What this implies is that the 4.5 billion year old fossils are not evidence of the oldest forms of life. Rather, they are the fossilized remains of creatures which populated the star system which exploded in that vast supernova which eventually gave rise to our sun, the Earth, and this solar system. In fact, tiny granules also discovered inside the Murchison meteorite indicates these meteors were not formed as part of our solar system. A detailed analysis of their isotopic composition indicates they are from a more ancient star that long ago exploded in a supernova, shattering all the planets that made up its solar system. Thus, these water-bearing meteorites, in turn, are the remnants of this ancient star system which exploded over five billion years ago. Thus, these fossils are the remnants of living creatures that long ago lived on other planets. Some of those that survived these journeys encased in meters and blocks of ice eventually took up residence on other planets. As this debris came to create and then bombard the planets and moons of our solar system, this would also explain why life emerged simultaneously on the Earth as well as Mars. Be it Earth or Mars, Ultimately, we can trace their ancestry to creatures that arrived from space encased in all types of debris which in turn had come from other, more ancient planets. Other than the hand of God, there is simply no other logical, rational explanation. Our ancient ancestors, the first creatures to appear on Earth, journeyed here from the stars. <laughs>